Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ginger. Today I was wanting to do a, an abstract painting, very simple. Um, it's actually just going to be black and white, like a minimalist uh, style painting. And it's actually part of a set. It's going to go with uh, another one, uh, which I just did a video on uh, earlier. So you feel free to check that out if you like. But this one I'm going to do using some super fun paint. This is uh, golden high flow acrylic. These are very liquidy. This one is just black, carbon black. So I'm going to use that today. Uh, and you're going to see why I love these. And I have a variety of, these are actually called mop brushes. I'm not really going to paint with these. But the only reason I have got these out is I thought I would use them to apply water to the canvas. So I have just a variety here. They're just cheapies. Uh, I probably got these from Michael's. Um, but like I said, really, I'm just using them to put water on the canvas. Um, the other thing you may want is a spray bottle. These are one of those continuous spray bottles. Uh, for putting water on the canvas and then something else that I thought would be pretty fun uh, you may want one of these these are one of those blowers that you can um, like they use them for alcohol inks to kind of blow the ink around and uh, this is something that's pretty fun to use with that uh, with this uh, liquid paint as well so that helps move those around. And then this is the canvas that I picked for today. You can use any canvas you like. You can go as cheap or as expensive as you want. Uh, you can do this whole thing very inexpensively uh, and make it look like, you know, you uh, purchased an abstract painting for a lot of money. And you don't have to tell <laughs> that you didn't. Uh, so this is just Artist Loft brand. I got this at Michael's. I did get this on sale, which is awesome. A couple, couple times a year, um, they'll do some different sales. They'll do uh, buy one, get one free, which is awesome. But what I really love is when they do buy one, get two free. And uh, they just did that for Mother's Day. And then I think they also do it around uh, maybe Black Friday. Uh, those are only two times that I am aware of, but they, they may have more than that. But when they have get two free, uh, I definitely stock up. But I love these canvases. Uh, this is the level three, which has, um, they're thick, uh, which I really like because you don't even have to frame them. They look great without a frame. And then they're just super nice on uh on the back Let's see if you can see there there the edges are stuck underneath this wood and uh you can see they're really straight these even though they're like generic these things are really really good they're my favorites all right so like i said we're going to use um the golden high flow acrylic you could use, if you uh, are wanting to do a look like this and you don't have um, the high flows, you could get away with just a regular um, acrylic paint. You could probably also get a more liquidy paint like, um, hang on, like those craft paints that are in the... Uh, Michaels and whatnot, these guys that come in a bottle with a flip top lid. Uh, this is craft paint. They're way more liquidy um, than these uh, that I just showed. And, um, you know, you could just add a little water and get a similar effect. Now, I will say you're not going to get the same effect that you get with these because they're super uh, pigmented. And um, they just flow like crazy. So um, I love these. It's super fun. 
So this is going to be just a very, very simple painting. Like I said, it was part of a set I was uh, doing for my daughter's apartment. Just a black and white set of paintings uh, that I think will go good with just about any decor. So what I'm going to do, and you can um, make sure you shake this up good. You can use these. Uh, you can ply them. Uh, right on a dry canvas, which is fine, but I'm going to uh, put them on wet canvas, which you will see really, really makes uh, the paint run, which is super fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get, you could just, you know, spray uh, your canvas. I'm going to try to stay away from the edges, I think, because I don't want to go too far on the edge. So let me start out. I'm just going to spray a little bit of water kind of in the middle. And like I said, I shook this up really good. And all you do, hopefully you can see this. Uh, look at that. Isn't that fun? This stuff does, and you, you know, you just are not going to get that same effect from regular paint even with water but man that is I love these so I really am just wanting uh, to create kind of an you know just an abstract wash uh, with maybe some interesting looking texture so you can like get some drips and um, tilt your canvas to make things run I really don't want a bunch of runs and drips, I don't think. I really just want kind of an overall wash. Um, but let me show you this real quick. This is kind of in the center, and so it'll be covered up. But look what you can do with these things. You can just make all these fun little... Look at that. That is so awesome. Little legs. And you can also add water after um, you've put the paint down and it'll still run some more. Which I think is so fun. And then if you uh, want to move the paint around a little bit, I think what this is what I'm fixing to do. I'm going to wet uh, that mop brush. I like these because they hold a bunch of water. And so you can kind of maybe decide where you want uh, your paint to be. Like, and just paint with water. Then add your paint, uh, your high flow acrylic, and it will scoot up in there where you have the water. And then I kind of try to move it around a little bit. Sometimes I just use the handle. Oh, probably going to need paper towels too, for sure. And your paint clothes for this one. Add a little water there. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Look at all these fine little sprays that made. So that may be something that you don't want. So if that's the case, be uh, careful when you're spraying because the pressure of the spray will make it splatter. So that could be a really cool look or uh, maybe not so much if it wasn't something you had planned on. All right, let's see. I do want to bring this out some more. I just have clear, uh, clean water over here. And I'm kind of getting the edges to run. There we go. You probably want to make sure that you've got a um, pretty level surface to work on, or this may turn into something that <laughs> you weren't planning. Wow, I love that. I love the organic way that this just runs into the water. Like you can't create that with a brush. That's just awesome.
you could do all kinds of uh, techniques and textures with these high flow acrylics. Make all kinds of little shapes. All right, let's see. I'm going to try just to get this to come out just a little bit. There we go. I'm just barely touching where the edge of the paint is. There's like a little lip where the water stops. I just barely touch that. It's almost kind of like watercolor. And what would also be fun is uh, if you have some more colors and doing more than just the, the black. They come in all kinds of colors. These things are super fun to work with. I'm trying to get it spread out a little more. Oh, what I did there. Huh. Of course, these canvases, they're pre-primed with gesso, so you don't have to do, uh, it's not something you have to do. And if you make a mess or a mistake, something you want to cover up, just get you some gesso, a little li liquid uh, gesso. And uh, they sell that at the craft store. And um, you can literally just paint over your mistake. It'll take you a couple of coats, especially if you're working with a dark color. Uh, and you can cover it up, let it dry, and go again. So I'm just dipping my brush in water and putting some more water on here. Just don't add too much. Uh, things make it a little crazy. So then I want it to come out a little more, so I'm just going to keep kind of pulling the edges. See, and I think it's really cool to have like this lighter um, color here doesn't have as much paint and then to kind of let it dry like that where you've got puddles of paint and then so it looks like you've got two or three different shades maybe of gray or black and instead of it all being like one solid blob I like all this this texture I said I wasn't going to paint with that brush. It's abstract. You make the rules as you go, right? Let's see. This stuff dries pretty quick too. Like you're not going to be waiting on this forever. Not really sure what kind of shape I want this to have. I guess that's what the paint will tell us, huh? That's something else I really like about these is you can just kind of let them take control and then you can go with it. Let them tell you what they want to do, which is always really fun to me. Take some of that creative stress, I guess, away. You don't have to think about it so much. I don't want a bunch of brush strokes in here. All right, I want to add some more water, but I don't want any of that, uh, that splatter. Let's see. What I may do is I've got a little, um, little pipette here. You could also probably use a straw. I'm just going to suck up a little water 
That way I can get just some water droplets. Maybe I shouldn't go overboard with that. Actually, let me, I'm going to add a little water up here. I want this to go a little bit higher. And something else you could do, um, if you think you're being too precise, maybe with the edges or something, um, switch over to your non-dominant hand. That really makes things interesting because you're not going to be able to get the control that you normally would with your dominant hand so it just makes things messy beautiful and messy all right sorry about the head <laughs> all right i'm gonna put a little bit more paint down here Paint goes a long way too. Well, well, shoot. Didn't really have that in mind. So what I may do is go over that. Uh, with some gesso, just like I was talking about. <laughs> I don't know if I can, let me see how much I can get up with just water. Got a piece of old cut up t shirt here. How much we can get up? That's all. All right. So if I don't want to paint, over that you know with some more of the black uh, I'll have to cover that with gesso we'll just see how it goes like I said I guess the paint's going to tell us what it wants to do I do kind of want let's see a little more look there. That's awesome. I don't want it to go up too far. All right. Let's do. Oh, look there. Pretty pretty. You can also get like a little skewer or. Mm, stick or toothpick or something like that and just kind of move, move stuff around that looks really cool I think I like that and I think I like those edges I'll go through here and just kind of make these a little more messy See what's happening is I'm watching over here and forgetting what's going on over there. It's probably not a good idea. Add a little bit more water. Spray from high up. Well, that didn't work. I say I'll spray from high up to keep those splatters off there, but they did it anyway. Y'all have to let me know. Are you uh, are you liking the splatters? Do you like it when that happens, or do you want more of a the kind of person that wants more of a defined edge? I don't know. Splatters are growing on me. A little more water. 
and stuff, which is so fine. Get some more water down here. Mm, that looks nice. I like the way that makes the edge look. It's like feathery instead of, you know, really um, straight. Yeah, I like that. Oop, oop, oop. See, I'm doing it again. <laughs> you could get like a... Um, silicone wedge or a silicone spatula and move this around that would make some interesting texture make some really cool lines might just cover that up <laughs> I'm gonna give that a second <laughs> there See, we may not be using gesso after all. Trying to get these edges to come out and feather a little bit. There. Looks like a big old ink splat. See, and you can move uh, your paint and it'll flow into the water that's already laid down. Looks pretty good. Now you can also uh, get a paper towel or a rag or something and come through here. And if you've got uh, too much water, you can always just kind of blot um, or maybe too much paint. I'm going to move some of that paint back over here. Too much, too close to the edge, but I also don't want to spill anything on the other side. Yep. And it's still pretty wet. Now I could let part of it dry. Like I kind of like that up there at the top. So I could let that dry or even use like a heat tool uh, to dry that and then come work on this bottom part. So I don't know. Maybe that's what I want to do. I think it is actually. All right, hang on one sec. I'm gonna grab a heat tool and uh, see what we can do there. Be right back. All right, I grabbed my heat tool. Uh, you could also use a blow dryer if you want to. Uh, fair warning, if you have earbuds in, I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Oh, I think that's too bad. So I really like this part up here. I want to save that if I can. I'm going to try to dry that. And there's no limit as to how many layers you want to do. You can definitely go back over the top. Um, just be careful about reactivating uh, what you've already painted. I think that they dry pretty, uh, pretty good. Like you won't really be able to make a move uh, again very much after they've already dried. You can move your paint around with this. I just got it on low.
Almost got all the water, I think, out of there. That texture looks so awesome. Love me some good texture. Alright. Alright, I think that part looks pretty good. Wow, that looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to try to tilt some of this stuff back up in the middle. It's getting a little crazy here. Oop, oop, oop. And I'm watching this, but then here comes this stuff, so. You gotta be careful. I'm just kind of spreading it out a bit. You can just do this till you think it looks good. You're happy with it. Um, one way to kind of get an idea. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell when you're working on a piece. Um, you know, like, is it finished? Does it look good? Is it, you know, proportionate or whatever? Um, so I like to either take a picture or to look at it through the viewfinder, like on your phone or your camera. And once you kind of stand back from it, especially after you, uh, you know, went and got a drink or took a break for a few minutes, uh, and see it with new eyes, then you can really tell, ooh, I like this part, but maybe not this part. Or you can tell that something needs a little work or, you know, if it looks good, that's an easy way to tell. So I've got some white uh, still going in here. The white of the canvas is showing through. And I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to try to break up those runs, though I don't really care for those straight lines or defined lines. We'll try a little water on there. All right, and I know this doesn't look like much, but uh, by itself, but once it's dry, and it's with the other uh, pieces, it's uh, sister pieces. It's I think it's going to look really good, really good. And it's so easy. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to mess with this for just a couple of minutes. Uh, dry it. I th let me dry it, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just finished drying all the water in the paint, and I think it looks pretty cool. One thing I did, I kind of looked at it and thought that it might look better the other direction. So I don't know. I think I might like it better like this. I really, really love how all this turned out. That's really neat. Um, the only thing is when I was uh, kind of looking at it, I don't know. It seems like this line and this line are just like super similar. And I don't know. I didn't really like that. So I think I'm going to add a little more. This is just paint and water. I'm just going to kind of add some sort of other shape. Let's see. We'll try to 
break that up a little bit. Add some more water. There we go. Looks pretty good. I wish that I hadn't got quite so heavy with the paint maybe out here. Um, cause I really do like this really light, uh, color. I do like this texture that's in there. I don't know. I'm sort of tempted to go back over here and like put some, you know, very light, uh oh, <laughs> put some very light little, um, like an edge on it. And I think I'm going to do it. I think I am. I'm just getting a little more paint water. And kind of tilt that out a little bit. Uh, let's see. If I didn't mention it, you could also use a straw like to blow oop, to blow the paint around. It's not really what I wanted there. Like that. That looks pretty decent. Put a couple leggy looking things over here. Let's get rid of that sharp point there. All right. So then I should have a little lighter color over there like I do over here. Kind of balance that out maybe a little bit. Um, I don't know, maybe this will kind of help balance out these little legs. I think I'm going to do a little something like that over here too. Um, just so it's kind of similar. Instead of just having those little drippy bits uh, just on one, one area. Oh, there we go. I think my table is leaning one way. Sometimes you just have to give it a tiny push to get it headed in the right direction. See, and I don't really like that super sharp edge there, so I'm going gonna to break that up. I just realized I'm all crooked. That's a little bit better. Yeah, everything wants to run toward me. One little drop. Woof. No. Very strong. <laughs> Made dab some of that back up. Depending on what it does, but I like that actually. 
get rid of this edge here. I think that's looking pretty good. I like that. All right, let me see. I want to put some more. That's the thing. You get going and you can't stop. Then before you know it, you've done too much. Let's see, I just want to do like a little. like that. Right, I'm going to grab this wet brush again. Get a little more color over that edge. Let's make that look like it's attached. And I kind of get rid of that straight edge right there. Maybe it'll look like it has a little more shape rather than just a blob. <laughs> that looks good. All right, Let's see what we think here. So you just can't stop. <laughs> just can't stop. Add this just a little bit. All right, I think I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, let it dry, and see what we think. Okay, you guys, it's all dry. I really like how it turned out. I think it's it's really cool. And I think it'll be a great addition to the other pieces um, as a wall decor. I think it's going to be really neat. Hopefully she, my daughter likes it. Um, well, I hope you guys were able to create something with me today, even if it was something different. Uh, hopefully it was either inspiring or helpful in some way. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave those down below for me in the comments and I will uh, get back with you. Trying to think if I forgot anything. Um, you can seal it if you uh, want to do that with an acrylic sealer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that just yet or not. Uh, one thing I am going to do is just, uh, you guys probably can't see, but there's just a few little tiny uh, splatter specks down here in the corner that I don't like. So what I'm going to do um, is use a little bit of the gesso to cover it up, but I'm not going to use a brush because I don't want any texture. I'm just going to put a little on my finger and just rub it. Um, and I'm going to test it over on the side uh, just to make sure that uh, I'm not going to mess anything up. But anyway, there you go, guys. 
All right. Have a fabulous day and I will see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.